This time it started all with slides from a family that needed to be scanned, but then I thought it would be also cool to use it for wet plates. What I'm talking about? A new scanner! And yes, I have already one of the best scanners you can buy. I linked the video about that scanner underneath. So, but I wanted something cheaper, smaller and easier to use. With using the second scanner, my Cezanne will last much longer and maybe will get also a surprise at the end. This scanner is much smaller and can scan film directly without any glass and as you can see, you can get this scanner very cheap. I picked the scanner up, put it in my car and at home I found a space for it. It was pretty dirty, it needed a lot of cleaning. Before you turn it on, be sure you unlock your scanner. This is done with this little bolt. It must be completely pulled out. If you don't do that, you can damage your scanner. As said before, the scanner was pretty dirty, so I started cleaning. The cleaning thing runs like a continuous red thread through the whole project. Just keep watching. Here you can see how dirty it was. I will link this cleaner underneath. I used it for everything I cleaned in that video. The good thing is, it doesn't leave any marks behind. That's everything that came with the scanner. This big glass frame is used for large format film. This one is used for 35mm film, 4x5 large format, medium format. And this frame is for slides. This universal frame is used for all film holders. An old scanner needs also an old computer. For that I had my very old Scenic Mobile 800 in mind. The 800 is designed as a full desktop replacement, featuring a removable keyboard and a magnesium alloy casing. It was about 90,000 shillings back then. That would be still about 6,500 euros today. As you can see, you could also take off the screen and use it on an overhead projector. How cool is that? Liner Sebastian would be jealous for sure. <laughs> Everything else was modular as well. Very different than today, right? Let's see if it's still working. Keep an eye on that clock, it's entertaining. It doesn't look that good, does it? And here we go! Of course the BIOS battery died after all these years. To fix that I set the time and date. Windows 2000 baby! Now I need an SDSI card. Like the last time I got lucky again and got an original sealed card. So let's unbox it. This SDSI extension saved me a lot of trouble. Here we have the original PCMCA SDSI card. Two different SDSI cables. An installation CD. The manual. A floppy disk. More floppy disk for different languages? Yeah, you guessed right. I haven't read that. Do you think I can still register that one? <laughs> Let's put this high-tech data transfer cable in. If I can get it in. And we have a jackpot! It installed perfectly fine. Finally I can connect the scanner and turn it on. As you can see without the extension cable I would just have no chance to connect it to the scanner. Pretty exciting moment, will it show up? I was worried at first, but then I remembered I need to search for new hardware so it pops up. Everything was very different back then. It all looks good, I just had to download and install the drivers and we are golden. And who remembers that? Computers back then couldn't bore themselves down. After a reboot, everything installed as expected and the Photolux software from Aqua started. For the first scan I choose a plate from a very early series that is called When Love Is Not Enough. And here we go again to fight our biggest enemy of scanning, dust and dirt. The original Photolux software from Aqua worked and so I did my first scan. But somehow I was not very satisfied with the quality, it looked very grainy. I like this portrait a lot. 
Overall, this desktop replacement high performance laptop was pretty slow, and USB 1 was a pain to transfer data, so I tried a wireless card. It was all too slow, so I had to change. I connected the scanner to the same Mac I used for my screen's design scanner. I installed an older version of the Silverfast scanning software. I had an issue at the beginning, but the Lasersoft imaging support was great. Thank you guys so much for your great support. For the first test, I scanned a plate from my upcoming video and saw that the scanner was still dirty. Just look at these funny spots on the scan. I completely unplugged the scanner and put it apart. I found a note in the manual that there can be a high voltage inside the scanner, so I was very careful. After unscrewing everything, you have to pull at the end of the scanner to get it apart. I put this on top of the scanner to block a little bit of dust. And again, I started cleaning. Again. I found some more dirty spots and after cleaning that I put everything back together again. For the final scan I wanted to scan one of my most favorite portrait series this year, the portraits of Phoebe. But that scan was a bigger disaster than the first one. So you guessed it, I started cleaning it again. I started with the camel hair brush and then I found the issue. Hey look here, the mirror is super dirty that projects the light to the sensor. To clean that I used the same cleaning fluid with a q-tip. The torch helped me to see the dust particles. After cleaning it with a wet q-tip, I polished it with a dry one. See how dirty it is. After I put everything back together again, I did a test scan just of the black lid and it looked great. Even very bright, I couldn't see any lines. I scanned only a part of the plate so I can compare it with the scan of the screen Cezanne. Keep in mind that the plate was already varnished and has some dust inside the varnish, but the result surprised me. At the end I finally scanned the slides. For that I started to clean the frame again, <laughs> put the slides into the frame, put the frame into the scanner, then I set the Silverfast software to batch mode and did a preview of the slides. After selecting each slide I started scanning. I really love how easy this is to do with this scanner. Let me know what you think about the results. Do you think there's another cleaning cycle necessary? So guys, I hope you enjoyed this blast of the past, so to say, and as always, all the tools I used in the video, like the camel hair brush or the rocket blower, I'll link them down in the description. Yeah, and as always again, I'll be back guys. Yeah.